hello everyone and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 40s World, my YouTube channel. And it's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Yes, it is over here at my channel. Thank you for coming to my home today, my YouTube channel, and gracing yourselves in my presence and me, as well as gracing myself with you all this Saturday morning. I'm telling you, I'm still trying to tweak out all of my issues with my um, equipment. And my daughter was here helping me before she had to leave out and go take care of some things. And I swear I did a whole video. And this is my second time around. The second time around. Yes, doing this doggone blasted video. But y'all stay with me. Y'all know I said I was ready to come online with y'all. Show y'all my imperfections, my perfections. And how it gets down to trying to make a video work. The ins and outs, the outs and ends. The failures and the successes on trying to put a video together. So... I am she roar, I roar, I will work this thing out, okay? So bear with me, I'm going to go back to the commentary I called myself doing earlier on an article that Kirsten Willis brought out on um, Atlanta Black Star platform. She's one of the correspondents, journalists over there, brought out a salacious story that I wanted to put out on my channel. I'm telling you, I did it to perfection, okay? <laughs> <laughs> only I, the only way I know how to do it, but Lord have mercy, I don't know what I clicked, what I didn't click, but that video was gone. <laughs> I was like, God. you know what I'm saying? All the stuff I put in there, now it's gone. Now I got to start all over. But hey, that's doing your due diligence. That's forging ahead. That's perseverance perseverance and that's what i got going on okay over here you will not stop me if i had to do this doggone video 26 times i will okay and be bang right back banging more for y'all to take part of but i hope y'all having a great saturday morning um relaxing because that's what you should be doing right after the holidays anyway especially if, if you were in there cooking and scraping and cleaning for the thanksgiving holidays and then you got to do it all over again for christmas that's coming up i already put my christmas tree up whoop, whoop, i did it the day up well yeah the same day of thanksgiving right after my daughter got proposed to i was like okay <laughs> We need to put the tree up, okay? So we pretty much got it up, but we didn't really decorate it until the next day. But it's all good. It's all good. Gravy under the bridge, okay? But it's just giving them good, um, what do you call it, practice for when they get their own tree and they have to do, you know, they have to fuss about where decorations are going to go well, this, that, and third. But when they're in my house, we do it my way, and, and that's pretty much it. But, hey, it is what it is. But let's get on into this video because I know y'all didn't want to hear me come around here and talk every kind of stuff, every kind of thing, but set the subject matter at hand. And that's the, another must-see video. But I want to thank you all for who have been rocking with me uh, from the past, from the start, from the current, and to the future. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all my new subscribers that have come over that have wanted to see the face behind the voice, okay? <laughs> Which I'm sure y'all already saw it because I you know I saw my platform, my um, what do you call it? My yeah, my YouTube opening page. Y'all see what I look like, how I get down, but y'all get to see all my antics and how I go around that y'all can't see, especially when I go into my sidebar, which I do here and there all the time, everywhere, okay? But anyway. We're going to go again into this salacious story. I'm already four minutes in from what my uh, computer is trying to tell me. And uh, I think the frequency is pretty good on my mic. Hopefully I'm not freezing this time. Um, I know it's glares with my glasses. But, hun, if I didn't keep these glasses on, yeah, I wouldn't even ever see the screen. <laughs> So bear with the glare, just hear the sound of my voice, the soothingness or whatnot, and just let it take you through the video, okay? But yeah, I got to have my glasses. I'm not one of them contact uh, contact wearers. I did that one time. I think I was 18, 19 years old. And I got a contact stuck in my eye. Ooh, I was crying for everybody to come help me get that contact out of my eye. And I swore if I got that contact out of my eye, I wouldn't be wearing contacts no more. And honey, 
Praise be to God. They got that contact out of my eye. Well, the Lord allowed me to find out how to get it out because everybody else was just too scared. Thinking they're going to poke my eye out and this, that, and third. But we got it out and we were victorious and we ain't never look back on some contacts. I don't get how cute they were, how uh, appeasing they were versus wearing glasses. Forget that. All right. But anyway, let's go into this article that uh, Kirsten Willis brought out for us on November 28th from Atlanta Black Star. Okay. Like I said, she's one of the bangers, head bangers over there, bringing out salacious stories for us to partake of. Her article title she gives us is the door, is the door open? open with a question mark kenya mar shows love to nene leaks on social media now you know i'm like okay what fake fraudulent crap is going on now that kenya is spinning the web of desire and deceit <laughs> running around him trying to convince the og she wants to have a uh, olive branch thrown out to her and make amends uh, nene said the door is closed <laughs> Peeping game on you all day, every day. She putting you on the outside. That's where you're staying, Kenya. And don't forge your head, baby, because she's going to try to slap you back down, okay? With her verbal, not her hands, all right? But anyway, we go into the story as saying, despite her previous declarations that NeNe Leakes is dead to me, it appears the beginnings of a cordial relationship is brewing between Kenya Moore and her, the Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star, okay? A photo leak shared to her own Instagram account. That means Nene Leak's uh, Instagram account. Monday was reposted uh, as Real Housewives of Atlanta fan page later that day. That's where Moore saw it and gave it a double tap for a like on the account. It came on the same day her interview with Extra uh, was published where she said it was nice that leaks has been absent from the first two episodes of the show now my sidebar now how shady is that <laughs> you're gonna go over to her page like her page because evidently you're um subscribe to that fan page of nene leaks i don't know i'm just taking a stab in the dog because how would you even know that nene had posted anything so okay you're one of those people to hide in the bushes hide behind the fences and peep around i get it king i get it. i do it sometime too okay but i don't think i've been blocked from people's pages if i have oh well just is what it is okay but anyway uh yeah i understand and i know there are people out there such as myself if I don't care too much for you, I am going to pay homage. If you're wearing a nice pair of heels or your face is like, how they say, beat to the gods, just gorgeous looking. Or you wearing something just fly that I wish I could fit in. But in my mind, I'm already in that outfit. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you a compliment. And even if I don't know you and you just walking past me, you might be smelling good. as a nice scent. You know, whatever that brought my attention to you. Uh, I'm going to let you know because I'm that type of chick. I'm that, that that type of woman. Okay, I can get compliments out day in, day out. I don't have to like you. I don't have to know you. But if I like something that you are sashaying around in or you're looking good in, I'm going to tell you. I like that. And I might even go so far as where did you get that boo? <laughs> where did you get them shoes? Where did you get that outfit? Where did you get that makeup? Okay, that's just how I am. But anyway, going back to the article. Okay. All right. That's my mom talking about me. My, my brother trying to bring me a vehicle. He don't purchase him and his wife. And he think I really want to see it. I'm like, no, I really don't. You sent and took me a picture of it. I already saw it. It's cool. But, you know, it's just something he do every time they get a call. But anyway, that's just my side. All my personal stuff. Okay. But going back to the article, it said it wasn't long before fans noticed that Moore was among the nearly 3,000 fans who showed love on the image. Okay. It was an image on Nene's Instagram account. If you want to go over there and see it, go partake. Um, I couldn't find it to save my life for this video to uh, be able to incorporate it in my slideshow, which is in the back of me. Uh, the video uh, uh, picture they were referring to, but it was just a picture she had where uh, she had on some sweatpants, but kind of, you know, the sweatpants that kind of made it look like they're scrunchy type pants, but they're more trying to dress them up with heels and this and third, but hell, they still sweatpants. I don't know where they're going with that, but it's like a trend going out there, but it's, it just don't look right. Look tacky as hell, but 
to each his own. They say it's fashion. I say it's garbage, but it just is what it is. And then she's on this, um, like a ligatard that you would wear up under a blazer to keep from wearing a top. You know what I'm saying? That kind of sheer type, um, garment structure but uh yeah that's what it looks like or even like a bodysuit type of sheer thing she's giving us that i don't know why needy is in that type of outfit because i'm like girl where's the jacket <laughs> where's the jacket because you are what 51 52 let's be discreet okay we don't have to show the titties all out we know they there honey they just for your man don't be exposed okay get them something to be intrigued about okay give them a little peek up boo but not all out that like boom you know what i'm saying come on nene you too old for that but anyway, that's my sidebar. People may agree with me. People may not agree with me. If you got it, they say flaunt it. I say be cordial with it. Okay, you ain't got to flaunt everything. Everything for everybody to see but your man, your husband, your lover, or whatever. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it said uh, one commenter uh, wrote, y'all, can you like this photo? Yeah, I was side eyeing it myself. I'm like, okay, how can you say someone is dead to you? You ain't got no love for them. You wish they were gone out your presence or this person is so bothered by you. They just come unglued. And then you're going to say something nice about them. <laughs> like, wait a minute, Kenya. What field are you on? I thought we were playing baseball, but it seemed like we were playing football. Okay. Two different sport events, two different subject events, and none of it is making sense. Okay. But going back, another commenter said in the article or under Nini's uh, Leaks uh, fan page, uh, platform over there it said um nini and kenya probably have a clause in their contracts i think there is a friendship outside of public view bravo wants ratings and these two know how to deliver it and that they show do another commenter wrote yeah i'm starting to believe this show is fake as well uh another show they was referring to love and hip-hop i'm starting to become over it well to be perfectly honest um unless you like the mindless drama of reality show the majority of them are pretty much 99.8 percent scripted in fictitious mindless drama that they let you give your other percentage out there uh the, the, the embellish however you want to but they do have a set uh guideline of where they want storylines to go okay you can make your own storyline but we want it to work around or centered around what we're putting out there uh as what we want to see but this is your guideline this is somewhat of a script we want you to follow but you can give us your own storyline but make it make sense okay or at least make it drive ratings all right because that's what we are paying you for that's the picture i'm getting in my head of how they're spinning it off but that you know every um what you call it every sitcom or every reality show has to have some guidelines of what they want to see or what they want um this season or episode to be about but they give you some lead way to embellish or bring in a storyline that's worth believable or could be believable even if it's not happening in your life but you're like kind of mimicking somebody else's storyline or somebody that may have been in your family or may you may have had some friends go through a certain scenario and then you're just portraying it like an actress or an actor bringing it to fruition on your platform where you are deemed to uh bring your work in and put it in so they can pay you <laughs> pretty much so if you have this fantasy that you don't that you think reality shows are just that reality they go around and follow you every day or whenever you're supposed to be taping for the show they want drama they don't want to see the ordinary day mundane mundane type things you do to get through your day they want to see some type of extra stuff because it will be quite boring they could maybe be able to use the footage and it just is what it is so no reality shows have some type of script the stuff in so don't uh be dismayed by that or be persuaded by that because that's actually in the ingredients of the soup that they're making us serving up to us to partake of okay uh going back to another commenter on um i guess nini's fan page they wrote yeah i'm starting to believe this show is fake as well another love and hip-hop i'm starting to become over it i'm sorry i read that one it says i don't think this is fake at all another commenter is saying i think the producers push certain situations but i don't think it is fake just exactly how i said it but a little bit shorter <laughs> okay then going back to uh kirsten willis 
putting uh, finishing touches on her article. She goes on to say, despite the speculations from fans, the action from Moore's marks as a stark turnaround after some of her recent comments about leaks. She has some major issues. This is what uh, Kenya Moore is saying about Nene leaks. And I think she really needs to seek counseling for that. A lot of counseling, Moore told TMZ, of her co-star in October. Yes, uh, the mere presence of me makes her lose control over herself. I mean, she comes undone, honey. She comes undone. I'm like, does that look like Nene coming undone, undone unglued? <laughs> It's not, no, it's like she's the captain of her fate and her ship. She would go down with it, okay? And she is definitely proud to be back. And she did spark her presence back on uh, episode three, okay, of season 12. All right. Um, Kirsten goes on to add that she added that she did not see a friendship budding between her and Leeks either. I think I can be cordial with Nene. I think I can be friendly, dare I say, with Nene more stated. But will I be friends with her? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm like, Kenya, you just said, is the door open, baby? What are you going to be? You going to be friends with Nene and Lisa or are you going to be arch enemies? Tell me, girl, because I'm a bit confused. Because <laughs> it seems like Nene wants to be you, you want to be Nene. And both of y'all are looking quite silly out here these days, okay? But one thing Nene did say, the door is closed. I didn't hear her say anything about opening up that door for you, uh, even an inch. No, it's bolt locked. It's shut until she wants to let it open, okay? Meaning if she wants to take with you all, she feels she needs to. <laughs> Or I should say if y'all would allow her to. All right, but moving on from there, it goes to say, uh, back to the article. And when she visited Watch What Happened Live with Andy Cohen earlier this month, it seems all bets were off and that they could be and that there could be any bonding between the co-stars. I think she's pretty much dead to me, Moore said. When someone tries to spit on you, I think they're not even they're, I think they'll not ever be friends with you. That's pretty much done. And, of course, we knew all about the escapade of a filming being taped. They got kind of heated with one another. And Nene was allegedly supposed to have been clearing her throat with some phlegm that had dripped down her uh, nasal passages. And she wanted to, instead of put it in a Kleenex cloth, she wanted to put it all over Kenya Moore. <laughs> Now, of course, this is allegedly now. I don't know. I'm just going by what people telling me about Miss Kenya Moore, what she said about Miss Nene Lee. Okay, but she's talking about forging a friendship, one of cordiality. I don't think so. <laughs> but that is just me, y'all. That's just me. But going back to the article, it says, but while Moore just extended an apparent olive branch to lease a recent stop of the O O the O G. Peach Holder made on extra TV television programming show shows the one-time actress may not be too eager to reconcile. So again, I'm asking you, Kenya, are we reconciling or are we not reconciling? What are we doing here? Are you just out here doing vast interviews and you forget what you're saying in one interview because you don't contradict yourself in another interview? Girl, where is it? Where are we going with the storyline? Do you like Nene Lee or you don't like Nene Lee? Girl, tell us. We confused. The hell, I'm confused. Are we I'm trying to get my commentary? Because I don't know which way to go am i going south am i going north am i going east am i going west what the hell am i doing over here uh can you what am i doing okay but anyway going from that situation um she meaning kirsten willis the person who's uh writing this article she expresses she'll she's never been alive to me leek said November 19th, when asked about Moore's previous remarks saying the sole original Real Housewives of Atlanta star is dead to her. Okay, so Nene is pretty much uh, staying in the lane of Kenya's dead to her. She don't know who she is. She don't know where she come from. She's asking uh, Harper, what, who is this woman? <laughs> Yes, Lord, honey, Nene, when she don't want to be bothered with you, as we can tell from uh, the last episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta with um, Marlo Hampton. When she's tired of a conversation, girl, she leaving. <laughs> That's why I had to take her player card of being the appointed, uh, self-appointed OG. Now, nah, OGs don't leave. They would sit up there, eat their food until the plate is clean, ask for more uh, food or, or a beverage, and they'll sit and look at you and, you know, still be saying the door is closed. 
<laughs> Did you not hear me, baby? Did you not hear me, Miss Marlo? The door is closed. I'm keeping Kenya on the outside. I'm keeping Cynthia on the outside. Now, when I choose to let them in, when I feel like I want to throw that olive branch, when I feel like, what you say, this is apology time, let me do it in my own terms, in my own way. But other than that, you want to pay for this lunch, girl, because you have made this whole day, this whole um, conversation, messing with my aviance, giving me a headache, and I'm not being able to enjoy you and what you've been doing lately because you've taken up our whole time of taping on this nonsense of you feeling that I need to apologize. Maybe so, but not now. <laughs> That's what I would have told Miss Marlowe. And I would say, okay, can we talk about something else? Because you really are getting on my nerves and I'm getting a headache and I don't have any type of medication to cure this headache, babe. Uh, okay, but you're going to pay for this meal because I didn't want to talk about all this. I didn't ask you to go get into my business about this, but I understand you want camaraderie. You want peace in the camp. I understand, but I dictate when the peace starts. I dictate when the chaos starts, and I dictate when I'm going to leave a, a subject alone, okay? I'm OG. I'm a woman. I'm she Do you not hear me roar? All right, girl. But that's pretty much how she could have spun it, how she could have said it, you know, do this, do that, you know, do her own little vogue if she had to, you know. Call her friends up and say, you know, can y'all come get uh, Marlo because she don't got on my nerves. I need backup. <laughs> So I would have invited people like Cynthia invited Eva on the last episode to um, be in the presence of Marlo. In case she wanted to go left, she wanted to go to right, or whatever. I would have invited some of my friends over, honey. Gay, straight, heterosexual, it didn't make no difference, okay? I'm like, can y'all come get Marlo? Can y'all come get Marlo? So she, or she can talk about something else or some, somebody else, but not me, okay? Because I'm tired of the conversation. I would have been texting my ass off, just texting. I'm here. I'm located in this section. Please come get Marlo. Because, you know, while Marlo was talking, I'd be like, uh-huh, okay, babe. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm, all right. And I was still been test, 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 <laughs> until somebody showed up. Who and I would like throw the white flag out. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Can we have a conversation? How you been doing? We would change that whole thing. But see, that's what an OG does. They don't offend. They don't uh, defend. Okay. They always on their team, solidifying it day and night. Okay. They set the presence for everybody else to follow. Okay. But anyway, that was my spiel, my commentary, my truth on a story that Atlanta Black Star had posted out on their social media pages as well as their vlogging site atlantablackstar.com for more stories over there that i don't cover please go over there and check them out they have a lot of salacious stories that um their journalists or correspondents be banging out but i kind of like the spin that kirsten willis gives me she's all day every day a trooper out there with bringing out uh, commentary on entertainment celebrity news okay but that's all i had on kirsten willis's piece on is the door open can your more shows love to nene least on social media girl i say freak fraudulent and no facts <laughs> Cause Nene said the door is closed. Okay, and she mean that shit. All right, but anyway, that's all I had. Y'all enjoy y'all Saturday. I will be coming back to back, you know, because I gotta get my um equipment tweaked it to how I feel like I want it, and uh, to be presented and all this other stuff. Cause I don't even know if this video is gonna tape. Hopefully it does. It's twenty three minutes long, so hopefully y'all can share y'all attention with me and start it uh, watching the video from the beginning to the end. Okay, guys. But that's all I had. Y'all enjoy y'all day, and I'll be back soon with another video that you can use in the entertainment industry news. All right, bye guys. Be blessed.